Hey everybody, welcome back to another Friday. It is Ginyu Friday. You already know what it is. It just means that we've got some real good stuff for you guys. As you all know, it's your boy G4. And by now you must know me. It's been, it's been a year. It's been over a year now. And I am joined with my fantastic, lovely, amazing, super, super awesome co-host. Hello, everyone. It's me, Black Boma, again. Of course, you guys been here for a while, so you know who I am. I'm, all, I'm everywhere. So <laughs> nice to see you guys. Welcome to another Game You Talk Friday. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Thanks for being here. Also, make sure if you're here, make sure um, you like, share, let us know you're here. And if you're on our YouTube, subscribe as well. It'd be amazing. Thank you. That would be really, really nice. So... What we'll say is, everybody, so we do have a special guest joining us today. You guys have to stay tuned for in the next few minutes to find out who it is. If you don't know, I'm surprised, but, you know, you should know. But before that, we're just going to break down some news. I mean, you know, as you all heard, basically, Dragon Ball Super, superhero that was initially delayed due to a hack at Toei, has been announced that it's coming back. Black Boomer, tell them, when is it? Yes, guys. So to let you guys know, of course, Toei had, got hacked. By, it was hacked by someone, and the release of the movie got pushed back. We didn't really get a release date, um, and we finally found out that the movie will actually be coming and will, will be released in Japan on June 11th. Don't know for sure date when it's coming to the States or anything of that nature, but... Yes, we finally got a release date. It'll be in June, the summertime. So it's really good to hear that Dragon Ball Super Superhero has a definite date. So let's look out for that. I am super, super, super duper excited for, for it now because, like I said, it's capturing. It's coming out around the time where the excitement is still still there. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm yeah. still I'm slightly convinced you know, maybe they use the hack as an excuse to change a few scenes. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. I'm so yeah. convinced. But hey ho, I could be wrong. But you know, I hope that they utilize the time to maybe fix some tweet tweaks or maybe you know fix some things just to make the movie as perfect as possible. Because like I said, they're making Gohan the the main character of the story. So you ha this has to be not perfect, but. This is like Gohan's spotlight, so this has to be it. Like, this literally has to be it, because if not, then it's, it's going to be very, very insane. But it, Yeah, very, very insane. And I think one more thing, just, um, yeah, so in the next few days, we will be getting a new Dragon Ball Super manga chapter, which I'm sure, you know, like when we, you've displayed some leaks on there, you know, you're and always, you're always on, you're yeah. always on top of that, you know, as, yeah. flash, as, as fast as flash. So, I mean, did you want to, I mean, I saw a little bit of it, so I don't know if you want to just drop a little hit. Bits of and bits. Um, so the leaks that re was released, I'm not going to, just a little spoiler warning. Um, just going to go just overview it a little bit. The leaks kind of showed the next chapter is going to involve Bardock and his battle with Gas. They're going to dive a little bit into that and how he beat Gas for a year years ago. And hopefully that will give Goku and the team um, a little bit more detail on how they can actually stop Gas. My, my Naito is in it. It looks like he might have used something to assist Bardock in his battle with Gas. So we're definitely looking forward to to get more details and um and see what's in store for the next chapter i'm excited because we get to see bardock and we get to see you know anytime you see bardock i get excited because i love bardock so agreed so what i'll probably say is if you're a new viewer make sure to drop us a like or subscribe either on that ginyu talk page or the black boomer page or the ginyu talk uh, or subscribe onto the Ginyu Talk um, you YouTube channel. Oh, hey, if you want to be special and cool and awesome, why don't you just like and subscribe on all three platforms? That will make it. That will make us even happier. So, Absolutely. with that said, guys, 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 it's been over, it's been just about a year since Ginyu Talk first started, and when that first started, hey, we were just 
there just you know the team was just excited to talk about dragon ball there wasn't mm -hmm. too much too much um there wasn't too much focus at the time but as things grew and developed you know we became we, we became focused so we started trying to do a bit more things in here and there so as you remember guys the first first ever guest we ever had on ginyu talk was linda young herself yes lord freezer remember how and nice our Oh yeah, I remember. We were super, super nervous yeah. for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we gonna be talking to Freeza. Oh, I couldn't breathe the whole day of my heart racing. <laughs> I, I know it was so crazy. And I mean, hey, you might just have one or two people that might just be like, "Who's Freeza?" Don't you worry, we got you sorted. So before Linda joins us ourselves, we're just gonna give you a quick reminder of an interesting scene that was actually done. I forgot about those other insignificant little bugs. <laughs> no matter, I'll crush them once I'm finished with these two weaklings. <laughs> the end is at hand! You and this entire planet will be reduced to nothing but dust! See, that was super exciting. Let's... Get Linda in and let's get, yes, let's get, her get in. that conversation going. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Linda. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. Welcome back to Ginyu Talk. We're super excited to, to have you back. I'm glad well, to be here. Welcome back to Ginyu Talk. It's, again, always a pleasure to speak to you again. Like, I don't want to fangirl, but you're not like, <laughs> you're, a, you're amazing. You are a big part of Dragon Ball especially like the Frieza saga and just even beyond. It's just kind of like, you know, you're a well-known name in the Dragon Ball community. So thank you so much for joining our podcast again. It's a pleasure. And I won't reduce you to dust. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. Please, please, no. please, please. <laughs> please. We just want to ask you some questions. <laughs> please, don't, please don't destroy our planet. Please, please. <laughs> absolutely yeah. awesome so i think we're just gonna probably just you know start off the conversation just you know just set all things down so i don't know uh uh did you want to go first or you know just to get things going um, well first i know we talked a little bit before the podcast just want to uh, I know it's been a year since the last time you came. A lot of changes has happened in the world with COVID and everything. I know you told us, but how have you been um, since, you know, every, you know, everything's changing with, you yes. know, masks and COVID and things like that. Just how has life treated you since the last time you've been here and, and, you know, how different the world has been so far? Yeah. I mean, um, I've been blessed in my family and, we're very thankful. Mm -hmm. um, I have friends, you know, that have passed away and which is so sad and um, friends that have lost their jobs or, you know, I, so many different things. Um, it's, it's just, it's really sad to me yeah. that the world is so different, yeah. but yet I do see a lot of people come together too which is nice. And I see people helping one another, which is really nice. Um, and I, I don't know, I'm just, I just feel very blessed because mm -hmm. uh, my husband, his job has kept going and he's been doing fine. He never got sick and I've been doing fine too and never got sick. So we're good. And my kids too. My <laughs> touch wood long may long may that continue long may that yeah. continue that is the most that's the most important thing so that's, that's, that a lot of things have changed but um yeah and all we can do is just keep moving forward um yeah, take know, a day to, at a time a day at a time yeah and that's that is all that's literally all we can do and like i said continue to hope for the best yes. i mean I mean, just just like on that, I know, like um, you know, as things have started to, as it's all changed and things have started to kind of recover in in, in some in some aspects, I've seen, you know, I've, I follow you on Instagram, so I see from time to time what you get up to. So I see, like, you know, you've been, you know, you've been back on the on the on the yes. cons runs and and you know and 
be in making appearances at conventions would you say like has that has since the you know pandemic pandemic happened and everything and now like being back at cons has the i know like you always got a good reception when you made appearances there has has it kind of improved now knowing so like people hadn't seen you for so long and like people are now being able to actually do these things has the reception kind of changed from when you know pre pre-pandemic itself like when you do appear i think it has um i think because everyone's so happy to be out and and to be at a con for one thing and having yeah. so much fun and yeah, I I have noticed a difference. Mm -hmm. And people are just really happy and excited. And um, wow, I hadn't even really thought of that. But yes, and, and, and there are so many children now that know the mm -hmm. show, the original show, because their parents show them that. And then mm -hmm. sometimes even it's even come down a parent to a parent to a grandson, you know. <laughs> I met a little girl that was about three years old and she was like this Frieza fan. Yeah. And I was like, oh. And I was to her dad, what should I write on hers? I don't want to write something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was saying some of the things like prepare this, prepare to die. She goes, prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it really? She goes, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Like some of the fans are like, you know, I love that the fans are like so interactive. Um, and I was actually going to ask you, like, um, how do you feel about like the newer fans that because again, I think we talked about this in the last podcast, and of course, it's like since the pandemic, you know that you know everybody's just watching TV. So, like, how do you feel yeah. about newer fans? Just kind of like. Uh, number one, you know, actually liking Frieza since we know what <laughs> what he did, but the fact that you know, of it, course, you have to separate the character from the actual yes, uh, it, voice it, actor. But how do you feel about the uprising of fans with Dragon Ball and especially your character as Frieza? Like, how do you how do you feel about that? It's great, and there are so many girls now. Mm -hmm. So many girls. There used to be a lot more boys. And there still are lots of boys and big boys, little boys. <laughs> and But now there's girls. And like I said, the little girl. And then there was this little girl I met that was 10. And and she was just, oh, she was just kind of so excited. And she hardly could say anything. And later she came back and she said, I just want to tell you that when I was four, I would say, Frieza, Frieza, Frieza. <laughs> and, she, oh, and her dad okay. goes, Oh, she loves Frieza. And he says, she is Frieza. <laughs> okay. Oh. That makes me question a little bit, like, you know, why you like Frieza so much? <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty, that's pretty cool, though. That's I think some of the little girls like, because the colors, like Frieza's oh, yeah. purple and, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but... I don't know. I guess they think Freeze is kind of scary, but kind of funny. Yeah, I can do that. Freeze is funny. I think. Mean, yeah, Freeze has the it's the it's like the one liners, man. You, yeah. you, you definitely sold those one liners, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that that was, funny. Deep. Like that always that always made it like yeah. The, it was just it was just the yeah. It's just like Freeze was just you know I think it's it's always going to be a little bit different for everyone but i think freeze was just always funny like when i always enjoyed the little one-liners that he had like when when i think the first time when when, when the i was just looking at it um I was, I was listening to it the other day really um i think it was it was it was it was over it was the it was the moment where you um first initially see the the ginyu force come through and then you had this whole moment where it's like freezes blushing and then you're just like oh no what the hell's going on <laughs> <laughs> and that's when i was just saw freeze i was like yeah freeze is funny. i was like freeze is funny because he's just like he's, yeah. he's supposed to be ruthless but in that moment he's like oh my god what the hell is going on like think in that moment i was thinking he's probably thinking what the hell did i just summon to come and help me mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so i thought like, that's when i was just like oh Frieza. i call him the ginyu farce <laughs> saying, you want to know something that arc was like the way they hyped up the ginyu force 
And then they just came and posed. And I'm like, this is who Vegeta and them is scared of? Like, this is what he's, like, having panic attacks about? Like, they come in here <laughs> like a boy band. You know what I mean? Like, it was so funny. <laughs> yeah, it was oh. crazy. It was, sometimes, yeah, it was sometimes if I do a con and, and a couple of the guys from the Ginyu Force are there, I'm always telling them, dance, dance. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, last time um, I was at, we were at a con and John Swayze was there mm -hmm. and he played Dodoria. Mm -hmm. So um, he comes up to me and he says, they, they had a big party after he goes, we're going to sing Born to be Wild as Frieza and Dodoria. And I said, what? And he goes, I already signed oh. us up. I go, Frieza doesn't really sing. I mean, Frieza's voice. But we ended up doing it. It was so funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, listen, I will I, say this here today. I was like, oh, it was crazy. I would, and I yeah, kept I telling would, him to dance. And he's like, I won't, <laughs> I won't dance. <laughs> I would definitely, I would definitely pay to see that. I think just on 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 the singing, on the singing uh, aspect of it. I know, um, you know, in in your own personal life, you do like to dabble in some singing. Yes. I was just actually thinking, have you? I don't know. Maybe it's something that's probably might have appeared, you know, in terms of like in the pipeline for yourself, or you know, something you'd explore. I was just wondering, had had an op opportunity or a project like an anime based project um ever come to yourself like you know like for you to audition like a, a singing like a musical like a musical anime and if it ever did would it be something you would be interested oh, in it doing would be. it definitely would be yes because um i think when i first started no one really knew i was a singer mm -hmm. and I, I don't really talk about myself that much so no one really knew <laughs> <laughs> stupid of me because I could have told him I was a singer and I probably could have done some of the singing like other people did you know right. especially when we first started but um yeah that would be that would be super interesting like so what would it be a case where it's just like um like how for example like with the you've got like the whole like encounter movies or so where there's like a lot of dialogue and then they erupt into singing or would it be <laughs> that would be great or would it be? That or would, would you prefer dope. like super singing, like a lot, a lot more, to, um, a lot more of the <laughs> like an opera? <laughs> anime that would opera. be crazy. <laughs> anime Broadway musical, anime opera. So it's not something that's ever like you've been approached for. Or... No, I haven't. Oh. Um, the only thing I I've done a spoof kind of thing, but um, mm -hmm. no, I I've never auditioned for an anime with the music. At least not yet. Man, Crunchyroll oh, better geez. change that. Crunchyroll, if you listening, if yeah. anyone from Crunchyroll is re listening right now, you mm. gotta make this happen. <laughs> you gotta make this happen. <laughs> It'd be fun. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> um, so my question is, if at all, I know uh, we I spoke earlier in the podcast about the new Dragon Ball Super superhero movie coming out. Um, when they do bring it to the States, is there any characters that you may be looking forward to seeing or anything that you, you know, you might go see it or just any characters that you, you know, because we haven't seen Dragon Ball. We haven't seen anything Dragon Ball in such a very long time. So, you yeah. know, as such a legendary person as you are, you know, I just was wondering, is there like any specific characters that you're looking forward to seeing um, when the movie does come come to the States? I don't even, who's all going to be in it? I don't even know. Uh, characters that it's, characters so it's going to be Bada. um no so it's going to be um pretty much the regular team goku vegeta they're supposed to be bringing in broly and um some red ribbon army type things you know og dragon ball type type of deal so it's just like a rescue mission to save oh. so it's going to be <laughs> gohan vegeta goku uh, uh -huh. this is the old team you know oh. so, yeah pretty much it's just like a rescue mission but you know we're all excited because you know we haven't had anything oh, I know. That's kind of forever. Cool. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> yeah that, that's it is going to be exciting it's it's i think at this point anyone's trying to just any dragon ball material they can get it's just like give me give me give me give me give me i'll take <laughs> i know i i've heard people talking about it but i really didn't know what it was about you know mm -hmm. it's it, it's it, yeah, yeah it's like a, that's kind of cool 
I know, right? It was it was exciting because yeah. it's it's more so it's something out of the yes. out of the norm. So yeah. that was that was pretty cool. So that's that's pretty cool. So we'll like so we'll have to wait until we actually see it. So yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> but um but like just um uh, just moving on uh from that, I was just gonna, I did have um I did have a question for you in in terms of like when you did uh the voice for first form, freezer, second, mm-hmm. third, and final form. I'd probably say out of the out of all the forms, if you were to rank your favorite from you know favorite to least favorite, how would you rank the the forms? Like in terms of like when you were voicing them, like which one was your favorite and which one was your least favorite? Well, the first one's kind of my favorite because that's how I got to know Frieza. That sure. one, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, the fourth form. I really like the fourth form. <laughs> um, second and third, hmm, probably the second one's better than the third. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I did think I was yeah. thinking when you were doing the voice, did you have like a cup for like going like because like because some of the uh, some of the because like, the voice was so yeah, 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 yeah. echo effect in there. They put an echo effect in one of them. And, I know one I had to talk slower and then I think they lowered it a little or something. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they play with it. They play with your voice and, yeah. and do things with it. But um, the first and the fourth form, I really liked a lot. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can imagine because I saw. Like, yeah. I've seen many. Yeah, the yeah the fourth form is just so iconic. It's, yes, it's very almost, iconic. Yeah, it's well, everybody sees it. And you're just like, oh no. Trouble yeah. is brewing. Trouble yes, is exactly. brewing. <laughs> and he's little and fast and you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Nimbly. So my question is, um, so of course we know you play Genkai as well, and you also play Fortune Teller Baba. So um, my question is between Frieza, is it's gonna be between Frieza and Fortune Teller Baba. So you go from playing like an evil emperor who you know, it's just out here, you know, killing people basically. And then you go from playing like kind of like a nonchalant. Well, I mean, um, Fortune Teller Baba has her moments, but she does. She's a really she's a goof. Yeah, she's a goof. So how does it feel transitioning from such an evil, evil person to someone like you know, fortune teller Baba, who she does have her. I love her little, I like her little sass. She's very sassy yeah, she does have sass. and she's very spunky. I, I love fortune teller Baba ever since OG Dragon Ball. Like, I, I, I love her. Um, but how do you, how does it, you know, how do you transition? How do you, you know, f- you know, feel going from uh, Frieza to Baba? Well, you know, like you said, they both have sass. Mm-hmm. And um, what, what I do is I just look at them and then I just pretend I'm them. Mm-hmm. That's just how I transition. And um, it's just fun. I mean, Baba is just crazy. Of course, so is Frieza. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but in different it's ways. Huh? Yeah. And um, Baba, I mean, she gets with her brother. I mean, she's calling him stupid and stuff. All yeah, the time. I know. She's that's why I love her because she's just like you know she doesn't really care what she says. She's just no, I think I I think I've done a lot of kind of sassy like characters. Because you can kind of see the connection a little bit between you know Bob and Freeze. <laughs> so. Yeah, and Genkai too. I mean, except uh, Genkai has a really good heart, but she yeah. I mean she's sassy in the way she talks. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. You can kind of see like the transfer between it kind of like trickles a little bit from character to character, which I think is dope, by the way. It's yeah. like it shows like your your character dynamic is you play very spunky characters that they don't really care about what they say. Like I, I love, <laughs> for me personally, I love those. That's why I love Yusuke because I love yeah. all of you hockey shows because they just don't care. Like yeah. nowadays they got a whole bag, but your specific characters, Baba, Genkai. Frieza is just and they have good sense of humor. They're they're funny. They're funny. They they uh, they're funny. Even though, even sometimes when the line's not funny, it's funny. Mm -hmm. You know, (laughs) in that situation. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, 
yeah so that is yeah that, i was just gonna that that kind of just made me think of uh another question that that i had it's like i was gonna say if you were if you were in in a situation where like you had to defend yourself but you could only use one of two moves which one would you pick would you pick the freezer death ball or would you pick genkai's spirit gun oh. So you can only so you can only take one of the two one from from the two scenarios. Yeah. So I think maybe the spirit wave. I think I'd take Genkai's. Really? Huh? Interesting. Yeah. Genkai was badass, man. No, yeah. no, I know Genkai was badass. I was just uh, Especially yeah. young Genkai. When they show young Genkai, I was like, she turned yeah. up as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Um, I think because Genkai will just go after the person that she needs to go after. <laughs> Frieza just blow mm -hmm. the whole planet. <laughs> <laughs> Even I the people that like just did Genkai. nothing, they just, they just go like, yeah, and she just got, they got the <laughs> devil. Just like, ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess because I don't want to blow up a whole planet. That would no. I mean, I mean. Um, Genkai's you... more fair fighting, you know. Mm -hmm. She's more, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe you'd want to get retribution for 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 having to, de to defend yourself. You'd be like, I'm Lord Freeze, and just like. <laughs> 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 <That's true. laughs> yeah, that, in some cases, yes, maybe so. But now, because if you did go Genkai, like, Genkai wouldn't even have to use the spirit wave. They'll probably, that's she'll probably true. just, she'll probably just mm -hmm. beat him up. Yeah, I mean, that's like, true. She's like, fast. Yeah, because I remember yeah. like in that training montage with yes. Yusuke, where where she starts punching him in the. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, Frieza did the exact same thing when when he lifted up uh, Vegeta with his tail, and then he was just. <laughs> <laughs> they both. Uh, it's just. It's crazy because that's actually leading into my next question. So, and what I'm seeing as an anime watcher, like you kind of see them, they kind of make more things. I don't want to say kid friendly, but they hold back on a lot of stuff. They, I mean, um, kind of com in comparison to older type anime, it was more yeah. brutal, more, you know, not really caring. So, um, if they were to like, you know, bring you Hakusho Bank, maybe like a, I don't know, some type of spinoff, or I don't know, like hypothetically, how do you personally think that people will react to such a personality as Genkai's? Because she was very, like, she didn't care. She was on him. Okay? She was so on strange. him. Like, and she didn't care. She had the spunk, the attitude. Yeah. Nowadays, you don't really see a lot of. Well, maybe some anime. I'm not sure. I haven't watched every anime, but yeah. I know I've not seen anybody as spunky as Genkai. How do you think that fans would react to such a stern teacher as Genkai is? I think they might react well, just like they the new people are that watch it. And mm -hmm. because they kind of like the discipline mm -hmm. that Genkai throws at them. In fact, so many... Um, fans have told me that Genkai really helped them grow up because they didn't really have a good role model or they didn't have someone to tell them how to do things or, mm -hmm. you know, how not to be a slacker or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so I don't know. I think by a lot of people, she'd still be received well. Because mm -hmm. I, I think I'll hear sometimes uh, guys will say, oh, she reminded me of my grandma. Or she reminded mm -hmm. me of my mom, or she reminded me of my aunt that was really mm -hmm. good to me and really helped me get out of trouble. And, you know, yeah. So I think with some, with some people, still she would, they would like her. Um, now, politically correct, no, she's not. <laughs> so she might get in trouble. <laughs> Man. <laughs> okay. I could, yeah, I could, I could see that. It's just like, yeah, Genkai was Genkai is. It's just some. Was just on another level. I think it's it's always been. It was always just someone. Was just always a character that was um, 
on another level i think well as one of our viewers like you just said like my grandma for sure so yeah. that was ex- that was ex- but and yeah she so had to be that like that with use case sometimes because he was a little brat and talked back and- <laughs> he was very, oh, i don't think anybody she else could have take it she was amazing. yeah i don't think anybody else could have even yusuke old mom put was just like done with him yeah Ooh. Yeah. Only person he had kind of was was again Kai, and yeah. like we said before, it's like it was sad that moment when, you know, he went through that depressive stage when we thought that she wasn't no longer here, and that because yeah. you saw like, you know, what he went through and how impactful. I mean, Genkai was impactful on the entire team, but you yeah. say specifically, you could see like, you know, how impactful he was. I mean, she was to him. So yes, yeah. yeah. They- the, the thing is, they really loved each other, but um... they understood each other. Yes, yeah. 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 Like they, yeah. they was they would go blow for blow. Yusuke would test the crap out of her. He would yeah. test her, but yes. she threw it right back, and if okay. not harder, <laughs> that's right. If not yeah. harder, yeah. yeah. And she hung in there with them too. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. So. It was no, it was it was it was really it was really good because uh, I was just gonna say on uh, you know just uh, I tend to try and watch Yu Yu Hakusho at least once a year, once a year. It's 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 one of those animes I try to watch once a year. So I was yeah. just thinking, um, how does it, how like when you're actually re- like recording and everything, you go from um, super level next level Genkai where she's just angry at Yusuke all the time, but then like. I remember when in the scene where he completes Genkai's training, he brings uh, is it uh, Pew out? So he's holding him and he's just like, "Oh, can you take care of him?" And then it's like, there's this, you know, I think where you're just like, you know what, I'll do anything for you, kind of. And then he just falls down, and then you just go into this like emotional bit where you're just like, "Oh, how you thought like you were gonna lose your favorite student, and you know, and like you've." quote your favorite dimwit it's like how does it how did it like you know um how did it feel for you like transitioning from you know angry at youscape but now in a very like loving caring sympathetic towards yusuke like um is it something that was like was like was there something you drew, like you drew on to kind of get into that um compassionate mode um i think that I always, with my character, Hmm. um, loved Yusuke, even as much as I yelled at him or whatever, I always had this love for him. Yeah. So when it came to parts like that, it was easy to just then show the love. It's like Genkai doesn't show love a lot. You know, one of those people that, we all know those kind of people that they're really teddy bears. They really love, (laughs) but they don't show it very much Mm -hmm. because... Or they show it by disciplining. They show it in different ways. Yeah. But they don't show the soft side too much. Yeah, pretty much. I, I kind of uh I agree with you. It's like seeing her go from such a stern character to soft kind of spoken a little bit. You know, it's it's, it's really a, a good transition. Uh, well, it's really good to see those different kind of emotions. Oh yes. Like that. You know what I mean? Something um in Yu Yu Hakusho, there are emotions, and mm-hmm. I think a lot of people like that about that show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my question is: is I want I meant to ask you this the last time you here was how do you like how do you feel knowing that you made like so many people's childhood like that? like how does that feel as someone because a lot of actors like who play maybe TV shows sitcoms. You know, they they have their TV shows where they they see, you know, people see their face. But, you know, um, you actually played like an animated character where people Mm -hmm. kind of reference it. You know, you see characters like that and even the 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 framework of characters like that in other anime as well. You know what I mean? So you see how impactful your voice and um, what you put into the character being um, broken down to different generations. So how do you feel about how much you've, number one, probably have impacted other writers who've made characters such as Frieza, Genkai, things like that, and also how you impacted people's childhood? Sorry, it's a two-part question. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes me feel very blessed, and and it 
it lets me know why God had me do these things mm -hmm. because I would have never known when I was doing the parts that it would change so many things in people's lives, mm -hmm. you know? So I feel very honored really. Um, and I, I also feel humbled. I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes it doesn't seem real to me, you know, I yeah. like, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm that. <laughs> like I'm no, I understand. I'm just a normal person like everyone else. You know what I mean? No, I, I get what you. I completely understand. Because to you, yeah. you're you're a person, but I think yeah. as we as the fans, we we know you're a normal person. Listen, yeah. But yeah, you like you really. Yeah. Just, I wish you understood. Like, cause I'm in I'm in Dragon Ball groups. I'm in Dragon Ball everywhere, and just as much as Frieza is talked about, as much as Dragon Ball is talked about, you got to understand that you done like such a service to so many people's childhood and. And even to this day, like the fact that Dragon Ball is still talked about to this day, I and, know. and the Frieza saga hasn't been, I mean, you know what I mean? Where your your character is still alive, and honestly, a lot of older characters can't really say that. As good as they are, um, mm -hmm. fortunately, Frieza's role, and as good as you did, uh, as good of a job as you did, you have kept that character alive for so many years, and I think that's. Yeah very very like a such a great thing you know because of course that's your voice that's your character so yeah. you know what I mean so I think that that's really awesome that you you know put because you know you, the ca character couldn't be the character without your voice and you putting what you put into that character so I think that's really kind of dope that you know it's still talked about to this day no I agree with that <laughs> I yeah, scared a lot of kids too <laughs> <laughs> I think to be honest I think just following up on that I think it's like it's a it's an absolute testament to the work that you've done um more so like you know you've got you know you you've got a character you know I think for yourself it's you know it's when you, when we look at it from an outside perspective it's you know when you when you go into the studio you're just told you know you got to do the lines you know you got to do this and but you you know you're adding your own bits on that it's you know it's, it's it could be easy for someone to just be like oh yeah it's an enemy character you know and just and become a throwaway but i feel like what you've done in terms of like the performances you've provided like for example like with genkai with freeze and stuff it's it's had so much weight where it's actually had a lingering you know effect in our memory like it's almost like you know so sweet no, I think like regardless of like regardless of like you know um, the the freezers that have that have come after you and everything, it's more so when we speak when we think of freezer, it's always your voice that it's like the first mm -hmm. the first thing you think about is, yeah. is the voice that you did because more heard, so because a lot yeah. of us a lot of us heard your voice the first time yes. around so like anything yes. after that it's almost like okay I understand it is what it is but it's like there's a sense of like but then when you hear your voice it's like that's the freezer I grew up with. Yeah. That's the one. And it's mm -hmm. like, and I think it is a testament to your work because, you know, it's not just something that was just like, oh yeah, just watch it and that's it. But it's something that you've watched and it's, you know, and it's, and it's retained oh. in our memories. And, and like I said, I'm no. absolutely grateful to, to you for, for those memories that you've given me. And like I said, I, and I mean, oh. I could, there's, I could say so much. <laughs> I could you guys are so sweet. Come on, G, you, fan, you, you fanboy right now. It's like, <laughs> I can't hold it. I can't, I can't control myself. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Uh, so um i did have a question i wanted to ask um so if you were placed in an anime um and you were given the chance of being a hero an anti anti-hero or a villain which one would you choose and why it's awfully fun being a villain and it was awful fun being Genke, who is kind of, she is sort of a hero in a way, but mm -hmm. I think I might want to play a villain again. <laughs> oh, <I see. laughs> but a lady, a lady villain, I think. 
Default, okay. Default into the evil side. Yeah, I love this movie. <laughs> you know, some like Corel Deville or someone. <laughs> oh, that would be perfect. Oh, you would fit that role perfectly. That would that be would, amazing. That would be really, really mm-hmm. good. I would, would like really to do good. something like that. Man, we gotta make it happen. We gotta make it happen. If the if the powers if, if the powers above are, are watching this, then do you hear? We gotta make this happen. We gotta make it happen. <laughs> I, think just... I think it's more fun playing the villain, actually. Mm-hmm. Or at least you know, with, with Genkai though, she she did good things. She was still sassy, so there was still mm-hmm. that. Yeah. But when you just have to always be doing good, and all, I don't know, it's not as fun. Mm. I don't think. You gotta be like righteous, and you gotta get into <laughs> morals, and you gotta save people. Like oh, I can't destroy yeah. planets, that's you know. Right. I can't talk crap if yeah, I'm a no, hero. Oh, right. uh, like... <laughs> this, this needs this needs to happen. This needs to happen. Oh wow! What now? It's in, it's in my mind now. It's in my mind. Why do you think it's they don't cool. make characters like Yusuke no more? I, I, that's why I love Yusuke. They don't make the MCs like Yusuke no more. Yeah. They really don't. He they was don't. a hero. Well, anti yeah. anti hero. Yeah. I loved you. I loved Yusuke. Yeah. He's, he was amazing. Mm-hmm. Just, they're just not many like Yusuke anymore. No. You know, just just following up on a on a similar question like Borma. So okay, so picture this scenario. Freezer, Freezer has summoned Parunga. He's got his two. He's made two of the three wishes. He's happy. Now, on his third wish, he's thinking, "Dodoria's dead and Zarbon's dead." If he was to pick with one wish, who he would resurrect? Who would he resurrect between Zarbon and Dodoria, <laughs> and why? Mm-hmm. Oh gosh. <laughs> Dodoria, because we're saying born to be wild together. <laughs> Partner in crime right there. That's right. Partner in Dodoria was loyal. It really oh. John Swayze is so funny. And we get lost. <laughs> so I pick him because he's John. Because John Swayze. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Dodoria was But I love the saying, Zarbon. Zarbon. Mm-hmm. And Dodoria. <laughs> Oh, I loved all those names. They were fun mm-hmm. to say. They were really, they were really, really, really. I just like how you just struck fear in these characters. They were so fearful of you. Like they were just like they. You do not say you. You better walk straight. You better not have a curled toe around freezer because that one finger. Boop. Yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> say one thing, freezer. Once you can you know try. What? I'm th- you just made me think of something. I think sometimes I thought of this meanness from a very mean nun I had. Um, really? Unlocked <laughs> memory. He picked on me really a lot. Mm. Point her finger in my face and all sorts of things. So maybe some of that Frieza stuff came from her. That pointed finger. That's why Frieza do that pointed finger. Yeah. The plane of Vegeta. What's, what what Frieza do? Put that <laughs> finger up. Had that big old ball of energy and destroyed them all. Oh gosh. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hadn't thought of that, but whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that was insane. But yeah, I think that uh, Frieza is definitely one of the you know most one of the most iconic. Uh, characters but uh, my question was, is um, which character do you miss uh, voice acting the most I'm not sure if we asked you this before um, so what out of all the characters that you you voice act which ones do you do you honestly miss um, voice acting the most probably I probably did answer this before but probably Genkai mm-hmm. um, was the most fun to do because yeah. Her character had more depth, yeah, and more emotions, and um, so as acting, she was really fun to voice. But then Frieza, I mean, of course I loved doing Frieza, and even now when I do those cameos, and so many people want me to do talk like Frieza, and so most mm-hmm. of them I'm talking like Frieza, and, and uh. 
challenging wrestlers or um, uh, like poking fun at people. They want me to like call them names and stuff. They like that. So, they you gotta yes. reprise that role. They don't want you to talk nice. They want you to. They want me to roast, roast, roast you. Yeah, they want somewhere. you to degrade them. Yeah, like and don't be nice, you know. So, mm -hmm. But once in a while, they ask for a pep talk, mostly from Genkai, but sometimes from Frieza. And I'm going. You really want a pep talk from Frieza? <laughs> no, for out of all people, make you feel small, <laughs> the smallest person on earth. <laughs> Oh, Getting wow. high, yeah, if he's stern, but freeze don't make you just feel yeah, like I know, are. but but so, um, but gosh, both those characters I really like, but really, Genkai had more depth mm -hmm. and more choices, you know, mm -hmm. and I, yeah. yeah, but Frieza, I, I mean, how can I not love Frieza? <laughs> yeah, he was Frieza was. Frieza was, um, yeah, it was quite. Frieza was Frieza. <laughs> Frieza was all, all about Frieza. Frieza, yeah, Frieza was was, was interesting. Like, uh, it's just forever, forever interesting in in many different ways. Um, just like pulling back onto um, onto Genkai, I think there was just I don't even remember when this was. I don't even remember when I actually saw this, but there was these minor rumblings of either um either like either i think there was rumblings about potentially doing a remastered version yeah. of yu yu hack show if that did happen would you you know if if they approached you about reprising genkai would that something would that be something that you'd be open to or oh. or to so say or were you going to feel or would you probably or do you personally feel like you know, um, that chapter of Genkai is, is is complete. Where you know you feel like, like maybe you know there would be no need for you to reprise it because like you've you know you've done from start to finish and and it's a and you know and, and it's a chapter that you feel is closed. Or I'd still want to. I I definitely want to reprise <laughs> it. it. I that was so much fun, and yeah. so many people that I know that have done that show would love to also. So. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because everybody really it. enjoyed that show. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yusuke's witty lines, Genka, you got yeah. Kuwabara. Yeah. We need, though. We need My the whole son. Oh, yes. Listen. Karama, Karama Hie. <laughs> yeah. No, Karama, Karama. I like, I love, I liked Hie a lot, but. I don't know. I just like Karama, Karama so much. Class. I love Karama. He had that class, and he just with his rose. <laughs> yeah. I love. I love me some Karama. It's just like he was so classy, but he he will tear you up when he don't play with Karama. When you okay? ready? <laughs> yeah. Listen, do not play with Karama at all. <laughs> like, but yeah, I definitely would love to see you Haka show come back. Get the I, I, back and because I'm in this group where you know I um I think I've actually seen you comments on before on Facebook. Um it's this you haka show group and they just they are big yes, haka. they they yes. talk about you haka show all the time. That's yeah. one of my favorite groups on Facebook, um, where they kind of like updates and they just mm -hmm. they keep it alive, you know what I mean? And it's yeah. definitely a great group and um a great group to join. And they talk about Genkai and all of them all the time. So that group is really great. And that's just the that's a Yu Yu Hakusho group, right? Yeah, that is like yeah. a Yu Yu Hakusho group. Yeah. I think yeah, I think I've actually seen I you. Am, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um yeah, that group is really good and they definitely they are, like, they're really nice. They are, nice they are. I've been in there for like a, a while and they're really they're really great. So um I actually I didn't know what G wanted to ask, but I guess um I'll ask. Um so of course I follow you on Twitter. You talked a little bit about it before the podcast. We saw you was in a booth with Crunchyroll. <laughs> I mean, you know, you gotta ask. Um, is there any, any, of course, you know, of course you can't disclose anything if you, you know, we don't want to give no discrepancies, but get is you there any you. exclusive what was going on, what happened in the booth? Like, how <laughs> everything with Crunchyroll? You know, uh -huh. you see some Linda Young characters or re uh -huh. returning characters? Um, well, I don't think I can say anything, but it's, um, 
I did like a new kind of nice character. Well, I shouldn't say nice character, but a new character. And um, mm -hmm. and I'm going in again Tuesday to do probably some little parts. But okay, um, who knows? I mean, I'm getting back in there again. So yeah, that's all. That's all. Who knows that's what's all. Happen? You know. I don't know. That's a mate listening. When I saw that post, I was like, yeah. oh, I was yeah. like, yeah, I was like, I was like, what's Linda hiding? I was like, what's Linda hiding? And Maybe it was we... fun. Uh, yeah. It's a new show that you know we can't talk about new shows. Mm -hmm. Of course. It was course. it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So I, I'm I mean, I'm so happy they're calling me in again. I mm -hmm. I'm like, oh yeah. This is a big call you in. Part or a big part. I I like doing any part. It's mm -hmm. just fun, you know? And and I love it when you come in, you don't even know what you're gonna do, and they tell you, you know, you gotta do this or that. And it's, mm -hmm. it's really it's kind of it's sort of you're sort of nervous, but you're excited mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. oh. your head's going, okay, how am I gonna do that? Oh, yeah. oh like I said I am so tempted to prod for more, but I know we just we don't want to get we don't wanna get no, we don't want to get you into trouble of any sorts. No, absolutely not. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I am super, super I'm I'm super super excited to find out when it actually does come out. And so yeah. I I so at least the at least here, uh, at least um Again, you talk, we'll be able to brag and be like, well, we knew something was in the works. Mm -hmm. Some, we knew something was in the works. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, we know that Funimation, you know, is is there any sort of difference with, you know, Funimation go with Crunchyroll now? Do you, it, with yeah, being in a group, do you feel any different um, being, you know, no, with them? It's really everything's the same. Like it's Sony, it's Sony Funimation and Crunchyroll together. Mm -hmm. But apparently Crunchyroll has a name that's known more nationwide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. So they're using that name. But um, everything pretty much feels the same. You know, the they have new studios now. Um, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and they're really nice. The other ones were nice. Um, oh, this one has this greatest snack room. In fact, um, <laughs> the first time I'd been, I was there, um, I didn't check it out, but the, this last time I went, someone said, you got to check out the snack room. So I went, and I was like, oh my gosh, there's just snacks everywhere and drinks and whatever you want, you know, you can just take it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I, wanna, I want to get a book bag. <laughs> like, Let me get a book bag and just yeah, take some home with me. <laughs> <laughs> there's all these candy bars, chocolate, and like, Linda? Step back. <laughs> Just pick two things. <laughs> I heard my mom's voice. You can only pick one thing. <laughs> like, go away, mom. I'm an adult yeah. now. Don't tell me oh. what you're doing. Take it off. Take it off. There we go. I'm like, no, come on. You play freezer. Come on now. You gotta come on. We evil around here. Take it off. <laughs> we, got, we got we gotta take oh gosh, yeah. Nothing no. left for anyone. <laughs> absolutely absolutely i think just um yeah just as a heads up i think um yeah one of our listeners will be joining us yes. any second to okay. to ask their questions so we're just yes. awaiting for them to make their make the appearance but no we can carry on with the conversation and then right. when they when they come in then uh we'll do We'll, we'll ask their question mm -hmm. but um let's see what was I, I was just about to say oh wait excuse my ignorance my ignorance do you have like an upcoming birthday i didn't even know oh yeah i do oh, okay I yeah april 27th okay uh, and yeah, so it's special up. plans or that's amazing um, well um i'm gonna be well kamea khan is april 29th so that's kind of like I'm going to one of those cons, man. Yeah, and I'm going to mm -hmm. one in um the Ozarks in Missouri mm -hmm. the weekend before. So mm -hmm. I think when we go out with the kids tomorrow night, we're gonna celebrate birthday and my mm -hmm. husband's birthday is April 30th. So <laughs> we're, gonna, oh. we're gonna celebrate Easter and birthdays and yeah, yeah, and have an epic pack weekend coming up. Yeah, and then I think with my daughter, I think her and I will do something on my birthday too. Okay. Because we kind of do a mother daughter thing on my birthday. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. That's how I, listen, that's the best thing. That's what I do with my mom. Yeah. She don't like going out though. I'll be like, you better put something once I get your <laughs> nails done. And yeah. you know, do something. You ain't about to yeah. sit in here, you know. Listen, age is in the mind. That's I mean right. the body, not the mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Well, see, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> we still waiting for uh our guest to join. Um I'll ask one my one final question is um I know there's a lot of with like a lot of anime coming out and things like that. So many voice actors that kind of want to, you know, get their voice out there. Um, Do you have for any voice actors that might be listening or might watch this podcast in the future? Do you have any advice that you would give them, you know, or anything that they could do to kind of get put themselves out there in the voice acting career? Well, I think the number one thing is um, act and whatever you can. Theater, um, almost all the voice actors I know have done theater. Mm -hmm. Um, Because really, when you're voice acting, you're you're really doing almost theater. um, But you can't be seen. Mm -hmm. And um, so act in whatever you can, you know whether it's community theater or you're in school, you know, theater, take classes. And I'd say take classes with a voice artist that gives classes because the ones that are giving classes usually, usually are um, instructors that also know how to do the demos or what you should do for your demo. Mm -hmm. That's really important, especially now. Um, for anyone trying to get in. And there's so many people now that you you really have to somehow on your demo do something that really stands out. Mm-hmm. Be different. You know that, and right at the beginning that they'll hear something that they'll want to listen to more. Because if they're listening to so many demos, and then if you can get in on any auditions, just audition for whatever. I still, you know, um, I started just recently, anytime they send out an audition, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to audition for this. You know, so um, because now since since we're coming back into the studio, you don't have to have your perfect studio to do your audition. Mm-hmm. You know, I can do it. Um, I just have a little screen and a mic and it sounds pretty good, but it could never be um professional right right audition like that again now so if i get most things i get i think what the heck i'll just audition for it even if even if it's not for me um they at least hear your voice and know you can do different things yeah i think it's like you gotta have like a kind of a unique I think that's what they look for. You have to have some people have like you can tell like some of my friends like on TikTok. I'm like you know you have like a YouTube voice. Like some people have like these voices that they it, it like grab your attention immediately. Yes. Like you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Like and I love voice actors. So like if you like if whatever show you're doing right now if it comes on I'm like oh like I I can hear it like it's so uh-huh. the voice is so unique yeah and of course I've probably watched Dragon Ball too many times to count so. <laughs> <laughs> same there, go. there we go I think just good just gonna say yeah our guest our guest is here so I think yes. if we can if we can bring him in um, yes welcome Trap hello yo what's hello. up. <laughs> How are you doing? I am super fanboying right now. <laughs> Usually when I get on a podcast, I am super uh, chill. But right now I'm not because, <laughs> you know, I'm meeting you. So uh, <laughs> thank you for being Frieza. Thank you for being Genkai. That played a huge part um, in my life. Like coming home from school and like, I literally can remember times where, like, there's, like, the sun shining and I'm having a good time and I'm watching Yu Yu Hakusho. show. So I really do appreciate you being who you are. I know that you were super humble about it, but it did really play a, a huge part in, like, my childhood. So thank you. Well, thank you for being fans, all of you, really. Of course, of course. <laughs> So I was gonna say, trap. So did you? I I, I knew uh, you got. We've got Linda here. Did you have any questions? <laughs> uh, anything that was lingering or, or burning that you want to get off your chest? 
Yeah, uh, the biggest one was how was uh, voice acting with those anime during that big time where it was just coming to the West. It wasn't a huge thing. It was really new. Like, what was that experience like just being a part of kind of like the pioneers that came uh, to the West? Like, what what was that like in the 90s? Well, let's see. At, at first, we didn't really realize what anime was hardly. You know, we just, it was our job. And, mm. But then as you got to do the characters and see, you, you know, you understood what it was more. But it was kind of like a little family then because there weren't that many people. The studio was little. Um, you saw each other coming and going, but they used to have parties a lot because it was a smaller group. So they'd have a party and Chris Sabat would always have like t-shirts and games. And, um, so we get to know each other that way. Mm -hmm. And um, they cool. called me mom a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd bring cookies and stuff like that. And, um, and I, I was probably, I, I might've been the oldest one, I'm not sure. But um, it was, very nice just it was it was like you were just all working on this project together mm -hmm. an ongoing project mm -hmm. and then wow. to see what it became now that was that we we're all just blown away by <laughs> you probably had no idea either like just no I, it was just no. like a job at first like uh where you're just voice acting and just yeah, enjoying just the process a normal you know like any other job that you go to and, and you do the job, you do the work and you leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's wow. very much surprised. I, I think I probably would have been the same way. I was like, man, I'm just, I'm just clocking in, man, just doing my job. Like, I didn't know it was going to be, you know, it was going to be this impactful. Like, geez, you know. Yeah, like, oh, no, how many times am I going to have to scream today? <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't seem like your characters actually uh, have to, and I could be wrong, scream as much as the other characters. You like mm -hmm. Frieza, Genkai, they kind of seem right. more chill than the other ones but is that was that really sh like strenuous on the like voice you know it wasn't too bad really because they usually waited till the end for you to have to really scream and then across the screen you'd see the seconds and they'd say hold it till a certain number comes up mm -hmm. and sometimes you would go, mm -hmm. where is that number mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's um, crazy but most times, no, it wasn't too bad since it was at the end. So um, I know that probably some people it was harder for. It takes yeah. a lot of breath. It takes a lot of breath. It really does. I could imagine. Goku going Super Saiyan. Sean Shamel, I know he had to have been suffering. Yeah. Super Saiyan 3 had to be. Yeah. Hell. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that's no, that is so crazy. I think. Um. Yeah. I think as we get to the end, I think like we'll just I'll just do this one more time just for, like I said, um, because you know, trap is one of our major, mm -hmm. one of our long term, long time viewers, and um, you know, one of our super supporters. So I think just I'll just say just before we close, I'll just say. If you had one more question just to get yeah. off your chest, this is your moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your favorite Genkai line to say? I was My favorite that Genkai line? Oh. I, I had a lot. Of, I mean, I like the funny ones, like the Dimwit and the Slacker. Mm -hmm. Train Harder, Dimwit and all that. But I liked her wise... Her wisdom, the one, um, no man is ever a one, what is that one? I can't remember it. No <laughs> one is ever a one man show. Mm -hmm. Everything you do affects, I can't remember it exactly. Oh, I, you know what oh, I'm talking about? Oh, um, that was so long ago. Yeah, I haven't seen you have <laughs> show in like a year or so. Oh, I think it was, it was, it was, it was just on the tip of my tongue now. Um, okay. oh, Let's 
I don't really remember lines like that. I'm, I'm not it's a student. It's with. hard to remember them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I said. I, I give y'all the props because I can't even remember. You know, my memory is bad. No, I couldn't. So, to remember like <laughs> whole shows. Of course, a funny one is, what do you think I am? A shrink. I got problems <laughs> with my own kid. <laughs> like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This so it sounds so <laughs> dope hearing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, it is yeah, no. They having not. Genkai right in the room. I told you, it's, it's yeah. a, it's very it's amazing. amazing. It's just amazing stuff. It is just amazing stuff. And like I said, mm -hmm. uh, like I think on that note, you know, like I said, uh, like Linda, we cannot thank you enough um, mm -hmm. for for gracing us with your presence again on our podcast. Um, like I said, to you are a you are forever welcomed on Guinea Talk whenever you want to appear. Um, like I said. Um, you know, you, you've made our childhoods so much that you know, in some in some ways, we're forever we're forever grateful to you. Yeah. We're, uh, <laughs> you know, words cannot comprehend um, how grateful we are to you know for all the work that you've done and to, you know and the characters that you've worked on that have you know in one way or another inspired us in some ways. Hard to explain where Frieza inspires, but he's, <laughs> but there are elements. But <laughs> Frieza's more inspired fear. <laughs> inspires fear. Yeah. <laughs> so I think so I'm forever so forever grateful with that. So I think what I'll do is I'll throw it to Bulma to to just add in her thoughts as well, and then we'll just drop um, and then we'll and then we'll just um, close it from 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 there. I think on. I thought of that yeah. line. I Ooh. think I thought of. Oh. Yeah. I think it's no human is ever a one man show. Every decision you make affects the lives of all those you care about. Oh, love it! Classic, classic, love yeah. it. Yeah, love it. Like that for me. Listen, <laughs> absolutely love it. I want to thank you so much for joining our Can You Talk podcast. Of course, <laughs> I, it's, it's no words I can kind of say to let you know how impactful you've been on on so many people's, um, you know, so many little children. Me as a little girl growing up watching Dragon Ball, definitely um, I give respect to voice actors. I believe you guys work just as hard, if not harder than, than actual actors. You know, you guys are amazing. You're impactful, especially you since you play such such many iconic roles. And thanks so much for joining us tonight on I Can You Talk podcast. Of course, don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. You know, yeah. You're definitely welcome here. And sure. you know, it's, it's an honor. It's very much I'll be honor. glad to come back. <laughs> we try. We try to low key get. You know, we're working to try to get like you know every like a couple of you guys together yeah. just to kind of maybe you know, maybe get you and your son on one day. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we, we want to see Genkai and Karama. I might be able, to, might be able you know. to talk him into that. Okay. Yeah, that would that would be very interesting. I think so. Yeah, just final words, trap. Anything uh, just before just before just before we wrap? Any final words from you, trap? Nope. Thank you. I just I, I, I appreciate the opportunity. You want me to call you a dimwit? Uh, step on me. <laughs> this is the reason why Train we love trap. <laughs> Love it, absolutely. Slacker. Slacker. That for every every word. She was. She had them all, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Oh, love it. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, guys, what more can we do, man? We are spoiling you guys forever and ever. So as you guys can see, we've had Lord Freeze on. Bless us. You know, we've, we, you know, just, so, just to let you know, even before we go off, we'll probably beg for our lives so our planet is not destroyed. Mm -hmm. But so you better hope that we're spared so you can see us next week for the yes. next for another episode of Ginyu talk so until <laughs> then guys remember if you don't see us next week we've been destroyed but if you do <laughs> we've been spared so thank you very much everybody for tuning into the show absolutely love you guys tuning in you guys give us so much great support and you know forever motivate us to do to carry on doing this um and like i said until next time, we will see you guys next week. Take care, everybody. Take see you later. Care. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye.